Hi, it's Sue from Createful Journals, and today I'm going to show you how to resize your templates inside of PowerPoint. So your first step is to open up the template, and if you're not sure what size it is, I'll show you how to find that out. So first of all, you just go to the Design tab on the top, over here to Slide Size, then hit on the Custom Slide, and then this little box will pop up and it will tell you it's an 8 by 5 by 11 inch planner. Okay, so we want to now turn this into an 8 by 10. So we'll go File, Save As, call it a new name, and I usually just put the size that it is, and save it. Okay, so now the first step is again to change the size. So we're still under the Design tab, Slide Size, Custom Size, and now we're just going to change this. Click OK. And I always use the Ensure Fit to make sure everything will fit onto the slide. Now, as you see, it's all changed, but you, now you can see that we've got some white lines on some of the templates. So it's just a matter of going through and resizing everything. But before you do that, you want to make sure that the guidelines are still in the correct place. Now, if you're not seeing guidelines, it's the View tab, and then you'll see this little here where it says Guides. Just click on it, and then these guidelines will show. Okay, so we want to have the margins set at 350 if you're doing a 0 0.5 inch um, margin or if you're doing a bigger margin, just change them um, accordingly. So to see where it is, make sure that you're in the grace part. So you want to be outside of the template, put your mouse over the dotted line, then you get the double header and then just left click on your mouse and then the size will come up. Okay, so we just want to Change this, this is going to be 325. I'm going to make this one 325 as well. And then you would do the same on the bottom. I'm going to make this 450. And change it to the 450 or whichever dimensions that you like. And now it's just a matter of going through each template and checking that it all fits on the page nicely. So when you come to something like the calendar page here, because you're going from um, 8.5 to 8.10, there isn't that much of a difference. So you may just be happy just to leave everything as is, have a little bit of extra line, uh, white space behind things. You know, so that's the main thing that I would do here. Now, one thing um, that I wanted to point out as well is when we save this and change this, um, the size, the color did not come with it. So to put those back in, let me just show you the original one. I just have to open it up. Okay. So as you can see, I had this color scheme on this one. Now when we rechanged it, or when we changed it over the color, the, um, I'm not going to find it. Okay, this is what I had, and now when we changed the size, it just defaulted into the PowerPoint standard template. So to get those colors back, if you want to use them, again, you're under the Design tab, then click under the Variance box here, this drop-down arrow to Colors, and then you can select whichever. And as you can see, it will start to change some of the colors will change as you go through. Now, if you're using this planner, I had a custom color in here, so I would just pick the custom color that I had, and it's going to change everything back for me. So you just want to make sure uh, that you do that as well. Okay, and then we just look through the pages. So with an eight by 10, you know, most of the time I don't think I really change too much. You just check if you see this one here, maybe the box just came down a little bit so we just push it back up. So it's just going through. You might want to pull like this box down a little bit to keep everything into the, the margins. Unless you've changed the margins big time, you won't have too much to change. So that's basically how we do it for 
the eight by 10. So for this table, I would just, just pull it down just to give a little bit more room on the page and just make things look nicely. Now, you'll see a bigger difference when you go to the 6.9. So now let's just change the size of this one. So you can either, so technically I would change, I would save a new copy. But I'm just going to resize this one again. So again, it's design, slide size, custom size. Now we're going to go to six to the nine. Okay, ensure fit. And now that you'll see again, the colors have changed again. So if you want those colors back while we're still under the design tab, it's drop down box colors and select the custom color or any other color. If you wanted to go with the purples, then just change. And sometimes you'll notice that not everything will change, especially if you start putting custom colors in it, but at least the majority of the template will change. And it's just a matter of going back in and changing some of those small things again. So I'm just gonna go back to my planner colors that I put in. So for a page like this, what I would do first is just move everything to the top. And then I'll move this up to where I want the table to start. And then you can just drag it to the lines. And again, you can just drag everything down and then you'll see if it all fits. Now some of these boxes here have moved. So we just have to, again, just replace them to make everything look nice. You can just drag it down. Okay. Okay, now this has changed. So we need to go back and just fix it. So some things you'll have to fix. Oops. And this is why it's good to keep the, make a copy because now if you're not sure of how it was looking on the original, then we can just go back, find that same template. And then you can see what it was like here. Now what you can do here, if the other one is giving you trouble, is you could just go back and copy and paste. So we could either just go back in, delete this from here, go back to the original one, and then just hide this, copy it, and paste it back in here. Okay, and it's still going somewhere. Then we just got to, we just got to play with it a little bit. So I want all these just to line up. So, you know, it's a, it's a matter of just trial and error. But most things you won't have to, won't be too picky. It just depends on the template that you are um, adjusting. Okay, so that's how I would fix something like that. The next pages, these are pretty easy. Again, it's just move it up to wherever you want it to start, bring any images with you, and then just resize it. Now, when you come to the lines, there's two different ways that you can do this. Either pull everything straight down and you'll just get wider lines. If you, but if you want to keep the same height, then I would just highlight them, go to insert rows below until you've got the desired look that you want. And this one again, I would just move everything at the top. I always like to start from the top down so move all of this to where you want it here. And then the start of the table. And then it's just a matter of resizing it here. And if you wanted larger rows, this one will keep the same. You just insert below. You can insert below one at a time. And if you think, you know, if you have a bigger space, then I'll just grab three or four lines, insert them. And then we can just move this back up. Sometimes you'll find that the lines don't want to move back up. So either you can nudge it up from the top here to make it fit, or you would just go into the bottom row, right click, insert, I mean, delete, and then delete a row to make it smaller. And this one again is pretty simple. It's just move it to the top and then 
pull it down to the bottom and then you've got it fitted. So you'd go through each one again and just move things around. So going from a big size to a small size, it does take a little bit more time, but it's still very easy to do. And it's just a matter of either just, if you like the size of everything, you can just have more white space on the page, which makes everything look nice. Or you can just actually make these tables and everything bigger as well. Okay. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention now, if you have a journal that has, um, say, it's, you know, you've got a journal, it's 150 pages or something. So what I would do here is you click on view and then slide sorter, and then it brings up all the pages that are in your planner. Now, these are all just templates, but if I had, say I had a calendar page, right, so say these three pages were the bulk of my planner, then I can see that it just repeats all the way through. So what I would do is just save these three pages, then everything else from here to the bottom, I would actually delete. And then you, it's only three pages that you have to go and resize and play with. And then once you've got those, um, the way that, that you like, you would just click on the first one and then go to the th third or fourth, fifth, whichever one it is, do a click, uh, do a, a shift click, and then they'll highlight all the templates for you and then just right click and duplicate. All right, and then it's gonna duplicate those three and then you just keep on, and then you can duplicate from the first to the, the last one again, so you've got more to duplicate until you've got the number of pages that you need. So that's how I would handle um, a journal that's a much larger size and it has a lot of pages that repeat. If the pages don't repeat, and there's no pattern to it, then you, you need to go through every single page and just check the margins. But always put the margins in because it will help you um, resize everything. So for example, like this border, we can just top and bottom and then it's good to go. Okay. And again, you may just like um, more, more space without actually resizing tables, because here you could just insert another image or something to make it look a little different. Yeah, and then I always just start from the top of the page and work myself down. And that way you can um, put things in the page nicely. Okay, so that's the basics of how to resize any journal. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Thank you.